And so for me, that was the focus that I, I care greatly about those patients getting access. And I saw AI as the unique solution for that. So for me, it was, how do we get this to patients? I literally went through this. I thought, well, we'll just publish scientific papers and studies showing that this is really good, right? And then it will automatically be adopted. Well, nothing. It's here. It's I agree. Oh, I agree. No. It's, it's, you can write yeah. as much as you want, but no one's going to adopt nothing. it. Nothing. Yes. You can, you can claim all you want. <laughs> look, here's the evidence. There's so much data. So then you say, okay, what does it take? And you look at, you know, maybe pharma, right? It's very interesting because I looked at the pharma and there we have a clear pipeline. You have an NAH R1 grant. You find some folding protein that makes blind mice see. It may work for kids. Some pharma companies, pro and you patent it, some pharma entity is probably going to come in, say, well, we want to license this. We'll take it to phase zero, one, two, three, and it works or doesn't work. But there, there is sort of a known pipeline. And until I think us, or and maybe some other companies, that didn't exist in AI for sure. So people thought, and I was recommended, well, just patent, right? And then Google, IBM, whatever, will come in and swoop it up. So <laughs> I've now 25 patents, I think. I just got two more issued. You know, various aspects of AI, nothing, right? Nothing. Oh, wow. And so, so that was my hope, right? I mean, I just, you know, let me do my models. Not anymore, but at the time. I just want to get it to patients. How do I get to, okay. Uh, I will try philanthropy that, you know, what is really key here, I realized is when I started talking to FDA, where I said, hey, I want a computer to make a diagnosis. And they said, hey, whoa, not so fast. Let's talk, right? 2010, yeah. took eight years. And so that's a lot of administration paperwork, thousands and thousands of pages of documents and, and records, etc. A bunch of paperwork, well, the decision is easy, right? So philanthropy route didn't work so well so either. And then, you know, okay, I will need to make a startup. And then, you know, if you make a startup with a $1 million business plan, no one wants to invest. So you need to be very ambitious. So I was. And, and so that's where it happened, right? So then you start a company and then you start hiring people and I was CEO for a while and then I realized, well, there's other people better than me at hiring people who hire good people and can really build this and do the marketing and the sales. So 